over the top. Just a couple of bounces and it races away. Fifth boundary. Yeah, miss hits go for four. Bit of an inside edge. Not quite where Napier intended it, but effective nonetheless. 28 for one. Two balls left in the power play. If you go for less than building side, if you can keep the batting side to less than 50, you've done well. Might be less than 30. Well, that'll do. That will do. Oh, right over the top. Top deck. There's a river somewhere over there. I think the ball's getting wet, David. Just clipped the top of the stand and bounced probably into the river, Chelmer. Oh, he wellies this. Three pound back. Cruisers Creek, here we come. Motor Cruisers Creek. There's a message in there. He found the ball and it's not wet. High in the air, who wants it? Oh, he's safe, he's safe. Nobody in that 30-yard circle, leg side, six overs have gone, 35 for one. So well, that's the end of the power play then, 35 for one, Sussex will be the... Namakwa, the wine of South Africa. A British title is on the line this Friday fight night. He's done it again! March Friday 9.30 Sky Sports 1 with skypoker.com Jason Gallion 13 from 17 Graham Napier 15 from 10 2 fours and 1 6 35 for 1 after 6 overs Chris Adams does he stay at slip? No drifts out he's just going to go back with a point which allows allows him just to look after that offside boundary Short boundary there in front of the pavilion. He's right, you've got to, got to protect that cover boundary. Another great shot. It's only a single, but it's a really quality shot. Leg side. Gonna be a single. This is gonna hot up this game. You can tell just with the crowd right on top of the players. We're in daylight now. The lights are on. We can see barbecue smoke in the background. Essex are at home and they're right into the field. This this crowd. single down there. Gallion is not a quick runner. Getting on in years, but he's never been quick. We've seen his strength, though, already this evening. Square of the wicket off the back foot, and that whip shot through mid-wicket a couple of balls ago. Well, square leg almost. Always been a very correct player, Jason Gallion. <laughs> Stinging through the offside. Jenkins kicks the turf in disgust, it's four. It's another really fine shot from Gallion, correct in every way. Driven through wide mid-off, straight extra cover. But given the width to do that by Robin Martin Jenkins and the length. Gallion has climbed into that. I know we make a feature about cricket bats when a new batsman comes in, but for all amateur and club cricketers, these bats, they're unbelievable for an ex-player like myself. If you just hit the ball, as he did there, through extra cover, it screams off. The point is, David, that they're, they're so thick, so much wood in, and yet pick up really light. 
We've got a good balance. It's seven overs have gone. It's 43 for one. Tommy right. Martin Jenkins, a good start for him. Four overs, he's finished. One made and a rarity. One for 17. Good job. Yeah, great job. If you can go at four and a quarter and over in 2020, then you've done a fantastic job for your side. Doesn't matter what the conditions are like, even though the ball's nipping around a bit, seeming a bit. A job well done by Robin Martin Jenkins. We're going to have some spin now. A bit of left arm spin from Yardy. No, we're not. Change the mind. Yeah, they have. He was, he was ready to bowl. Two overs, none for 17 for Little. What's going to come off? They change the mind. Now then, did they look for two here? I don't think they will. Rocky time. Dwayne Smith out on the cover boundary. Don't take him on. Not very far out there either. It's about the longest boundary on the ground, but this comes back like a bullet. That before intelligent shot. Finally, he's inside the circle. See if we can have a quick word with Chris Nash. Chris is down at third man. He's David Lloyd, Chris, in the commentary box. Hello, Bob, how are you? I'm good, thanks. You happy with the start or not? Yeah, I think we would have taken this, you know, first six overs is normally quite a big scoring time. So, yeah, to seven overs be 48, we're pretty happy, yeah. Do, do you feel you can still qualify for this? Always, mate, you know, I think uh, Grizz has promised us to a dinner at Claridge's if we do. So, uh, yeah, hopefully. And this, this boundary, it, it just looks from our position that it's so inviting straight and towards the pavilion. Yeah, they are pretty short boundaries. They normally are here, very straight. So, uh, and they brought it in a lot on the uh, pavilion side. So, yeah, it looks like it's uh, quite a small ground. Hopefully we can uh, exploit it when we chase later. What do you think you can restrict them to? Uh, 150, 140 would be nice. We'll see. We'll get here, we'll see what we can do. More sixer. Boundary or no boundary, top tier again. 54 for one. Good way to bring up the half century, this meaty thwack into the leg side. Graham Napier's second six. He's in good form this evening. 27 from 16 balls. Did he say dinner at Clarence's? Well, I don't know, Clarence, you might have. Oh, dropped. Blackwood point would have been a good one. Miss Adams diving to his right. Well, he saves runs there, but it is a chance. Have a look at this. Would have been brilliant. Spectacular. Suffice to say, save three runs. Eight overs have gone, 55 for one. Have a look at this chance to Chris Adams. Great competitor, 38 years of age, Adams fit, real fit. Would have been a stunner. I saw a great catch the other evening from Michael Carberry. What a field he is. Essex Eagles, 55 for one after eight. I think it's enough. No, it's not, but it's going to take off, isn't it, now? With only one wicket down in eight overs. Gallion and Napier have got their eyes in now. And uh, it's just like the blue touch paper. It's just about to kick off, I think. Well, the sixes that we've seen and a couple of the fours as Dwayne Smith comes into the attack. Talk to you as the bowler. No accident, but the two sixes have been length balls. Nothing more than a normal length. It's going to go for a lot. Yeah, but this is the confusing part for the bowler, isn't it? We've seen the ball seam around a bit, beat the outside edge a couple of times. What will Smith do? 
super shot again. Control, class. Well, applause from Jason Gallion for his partner, Graham Napier. That really is a fine stroke. Wonderful extra cover drive. Well, Gallion enjoyed that from the non-striking end. It's a proper shot, isn't it? Just a, a real top-class, proper cricket stroke. I think you'll see a change with Dwayne Smith, a change of pace. He's an intelligent bowler. He'll know that the length ball is going for six. They've got a good pitch, fine leg inside the circle. Lines have to be tight. It's a real thinking game for bowlers. Four overs maximum, that's 24 deliveries. You've got to think through every delivery of the ball. There's 24 events. Well, you're right, David. There's a consensus that 2020 is just a batsman's game, that it's boundaries, fours and sixes, and that's it. But we've seen over the last week how much influence bowlers can have on the game. Bresnan at Old Trafford uh, last week when he bowled that wonderful final over, Yorkers. Alfonso Thomas did the same at uh, Worcester. The cricketer to watch is Dwayne Smith, he's all action, it looks as if he really enjoys 2020. Brilliant athlete and fielder. Well, he's the ideal man, isn't he, in 2020, bowls, fields and bats at express pace. He's the ident identical 2020 player. Oh, six, that's in the garden, it's over the houses behind us. I was looking for cover, I don't need to. There's going to be plenty of sixes here tonight. Don't go in that garden, there's a dog there. NASA's gone. Hey, Whoa. Get on there. <laughs> Brilliant. Great extension from Napier that soared over the commentary box. There's a houses and flats behind us we can see it the ball's behind us in the garden there's a dog there Woo! give over get under bruce that's oh, out the back oh, don't go over there michael yardy they thought about him a couple of overs ago small left arm I don't think he'll be too... Well, he, he does change his pace. I was just going to say, he won't be too slow, but he changes his pace. He bowls every now and again a really slow delivery, but he darts them in as well. There's a bottle of beer right next to the ball in the garden. And we can't get it. Nasser's gone, he's got the beer and left the ball, has he? Get on that. Strong there, Gallion. 67 for one after nine, eight fours, three sixes. We're in delicate negotiations with the lady next door to see if we can get the ball back. We can see it. On it, on it, in and out there. 62 miles away. Excuse me, I wonder if we can have our ball back. Quite an interesting game going on here. A chance that you can tie the dog up. On it, on it, in and out, Smithy. Back in, boys, both Keep looking for that. We might need plenty of balls tonight. Well, we should have a, a whole rack of them here, with the, the river at one end, gardens and flats at the other, boundaries of 50 yards. 
They just need a dozen balls, roll them on when, when it disappears. On it, on it, on it! Crowder into this now. Just warming to this. Not the greatest of starts for Essex Eagles, winning the toss and batting first, but they're away now. Yeah, just up here. Look at him, 41 from 24. Starting to tick, aren't they now? Essex Galleon is just cruising along and about a run of ball. Oh, no, no, will I? 65 miles an hour, Michael Yardy did it. I don't think he's given too many a lot of air tonight. I think he's going to dart <laughs> right, He's not. Not with these size boundaries, David, would you? If you were bowling slow left arm, I'd not you be can, bowling. You can <laughs> miss hit for six. It's ground here big enough for me. Oh, God! Wide, wide down the leg side. Yeah, he's, he's looking to bowl very quickly. He's not looking for spin. Get on that! Cracking shot, Smith's after it. He's not going to get there. Four more, 77 for one. Namakwa, the wine of South Africa. All right, all right, sit down. You could earn 35k a year. The banter's not bad either. Promises to be a cracker, this. Essex Eagles winning the toss, batting first, 77 for one. Forget the current rate, if they keep wickets intact, they're going to get a shed full, we'll have a change. Upstairs here, it's Nasser Hussain and Ian Ward. Thanks, David. Another look at that mighty impressive shot from Graham Napier. There's been a, a few in his innings of 45, unbeaten at the moment. That was hit with real power. Hamilton Brown with his offspin. Six scored more runs from overs seven to ten than they did during the power play. Amazing acceleration, largely down, fairly much completely down the stroke play of Graham Napier, who's eyeing the short boundaries here at Chelmsford. On it! You picked it, start the day, watch out for Napier at three, Ness. Well, I just think he's got a lot of talent. Sometimes he doesn't always give himself a chance to show that talent. His eyes are lighting up here, I tell you. Short boundary, Hayes close end, off spinner bowling. On it, on it. And he's going to whack it in that direction. He's going to whack it for four. Problems for the off spinner on this ground. It's not a big hit down the ground. Problems for any bowler on this ground with the boundaries being brought in. It's small enough as it is. Napier hits that with such power. One away from half century. He deserves it, you have to say. Six fours, three big sixes. He didn't hit one in the river. Did you manage that in your 25 On years down here? Yeah, I thought you might. Stop all boat traffic down the river. Ace close end this way. The gardens, they had to cancel barbecues when I was batting at this ground. Go on, Alan! Yeah. Easy, easy, Well done, Bear. Well done, Bear. Ministry of silly walks there for a while from Graham Napier. Come on, squeeze in here, boys. Squeeze Touch off balance. Big, a big six to take Graham Napier to his 50. First in 2020 cricket, and it's been absolutely brilliant to watch. He uses a massive bat, Graham Napier, and he's used it well. This evening, 55 of 29 deliveries, six fours and four big sixes. A great striker of the ball. Well, we said it at the top of the show, he walked past us and he looked like a, what a heavyweight boxer. Enormously strong. 11 gone, 88 for one. Have oh, a look at this six that took Napier to 50. Stand and deliver. Three pound bat, I suppose when you're that strong, it's like two pound six. He's always had the potential of doing this. Essex have often batted him down the order. I think this is the best role for him, up the order. Oh, on that, on that, in and out. A little bit of licence. 
You have to look at someone like Luke Wright, who obviously plays for the opposition, not playing today. I've always felt that Napier is a similar type of cricketer to Luke Wright. Batsman, bowls a bit, decent fielder, but Wright's career has progressed and Napier's has just stood still. Maybe, maybe this is the season. Turns things around. Well, he's 28 now, with a lot of experience. What has held him back? Well, if I had to be brutally honest, I sometimes don't think he, he works his way through situations. He just sees ball, hit ball. That's his mentality. Gallion tries to join in, but he's got a big top edge. This will be a good catch. Well taken, Chris Little. Gallion trying to join in the fun. Perishes for 26. Gallion doing the right thing. With Napier going so well, there's no point Gallion just pushing and prodding. He has to target the spinners. Very difficult with Yardy coming in on the angle. Gallion knew it straight away. Top edge. And Little takes a good catch. White ball out of a grey sky. Gallion, the opener's gone for 26. It's 90 for two. Good contribution from Jason Gallion. This is a good start for the Essex Eagles. Here comes James Foster. Eye on England for him today. Having a very, very good season, James Foster. 180 runs in the seven matches he's played. He's only batted six times, averaging 60 with a strike rate of 130. So a two pound, 10 out. Warsop back for the Kanye West. Sports MK Dons. Talented cricketer. Get on that in and out, Smithy. Back Just on Napier, coming back to a point you made. That working out situation, sees balls, hits it, 2020, now perfect, isn't it? Yeah, exactly right. But you've got a situation here where Gallion's just got out and Napier has to bat for a couple of overs, wait for Foster to get in and then go again. Now Napier, will he think his way through that or will he just keep going? Now some might say keep going, Graham. You could get 100 quite comfortably. Why hold someone like Napier back? He's got the ability, but it's more than just ability. You need that brain to go with it. Hopefully he's developing that. Cheeky. And it's incredibly short down to that short boundary down here at the Hayes close end. Well, Foster, typical keeper, gets it in unusual areas, gets right across his stumps. I don't think he meant to get it that fine, but he'll take it. He squirts it around, he plays offside, he'll reverse it leg side. Talented young man. Oh, no, I didn't know more there, Lee, so on it, boys. 95 for two, 96 for two. Let's get down to the pitch, a chat with Murray Goodwin. Murray, can you hear me, Nasser here? Hi, Nass, how are you going, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, you needed that wicket. Yeah, definitely. I was just having a good partnership there. And I mean, you know, that's what this game's all about. You just don't know what the next over's all about. You know, we could get a, a couple here. And I, I've got a feeling that I'm hoping Fozzie doesn't get into Napier's ear here because I've got a feeling that he'll try something a bit uh, risky here and uh, lose a wicket and uh, hopefully two new batters at the crease. Yeah, just as we were saying up here, Napier's got to think his way through this situation. I see you're taking the spinner off. Is this ground not big enough for two spinners? <laughs> Maybe not. Um, it, it's, it's just one of those things, you've just got to chop and change and try a few things. You just never know what'll happen. If, if you don't mind, what did you just say to uh, Dwayne Smith? Oh, I just said, don't forget his change-ups, you know. Uh, he bowls good Yorkers and good slow balls, so. All right, mate, thanks a lot. No worries. So Dwayne Smith returns his first over, went for 12. Do you know what Lloyd's do? You know that ball that's in that garden? Yeah. Indiana Jones. Climbing over fences and scaffolding, trying to retrieve it. At his age, should we be concerned? Very. 75-year-old going into other people's gardens. Big hit. David Lloyd's over there. Is he going to be OK? He won't know it's on its way. Bumble, watch out. Five sixes now for Napier. Keep hitting it, don't worry about the theories. Don't wait till Foster gets in. 
You played a boring brand of cricket, didn't you? Come on, you got to knock it about for two overs. Keep lashing it out the yeah. park. That's 2020 Absolutely. cricket. The game's moved on. Sure. Forget the tactics, forget the theories, whack it out of the ground. Oh, you'd be running it down a third man, you wouldn't. Goes again, has he got all of it? Don't think it matters because it's a very short boundary. Consecutive maximums for Graham Napier. This is an exhibition. Well, there's a lot of debate about the balance between bat and ball. And this is a classic example where it's gone in favour of the batsman. Nowhere near the middle of the bat, but look at the boundary. It's well in. It's a short boundary anyway to the haze close. And oh my <laughs> lord, watch out. Watch out. You're having just Tuesday evening, you're in your garden, having a quiet glass or something, and that comes over. Maybe that comes over. He went in the hamstring last time he played. We will never see that man again. He's not all there, is he? You've known him for a long time. He's not all there. That man used to coach England. <laughs> no wonder we were rubbish. Another one. Big, big, big. Down and over fine leg. Three maximums on the spin. Seven in total in Napier's innings of 74. Nerdling it for two overs. Oh, no. What's he doing now? <laughs> Watch out. Six, six, six in the middle. What has Dwayne Smith got now? Flat, will it carry to Martin Jenkins? No. Booze from the crowd. 19 from the over so far, a delivery remaining. There's entertainment on the field <laughs> and behind the commentary box. Is he all right? Is he back? Let's hope not. 20 runs, one delivery to go. Yeah. Good batting from Foster. Thirteen gone, twenty-one runs from that Dwayne Smith over, 117 for two. Proper entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Is he that desperate for cricket balls? He forgot the beer. <laughs> <laughs> it has gone straight in his pocket, look, in his pocket, that's mine. <laughs> I'm having that. On it, in and out there, Chief. Back in, boy. Napier back on strike. 75 from 36 deliveries he scored. Six fours and seven sixes. Closing in on Mark Elam's record, 2020 of nine in one innings. On that, on that, on that. And that is a, a proper three pounder he's got there. We've been talking a lot about bats. His bat is a seriously big weapon. Very heavy, he's not worried about balance in that. He wants a big plank of wood. Yeah. In and out, in and out. Two nice little combination, these two the nudge and nerdle of Foster. Brute force of Napier. Have you ever seen the I mean, some of Napier sixes, no matter what ground they're on, they're gone for six. But have you ever seen the boundaries so are oh, pushed in, Chelmsford, within your time there? Get on that. You know, this is about as small as it's been. It's not a big ground anyway. Surprisingly, really. Generally here in 2020, 150 has been a good score. Pass score has been 142, so Essex will be happy. But straight, definitely. Sideways, it's still a reasonable hit, but straight is just a chip. Oh, it's raining boundaries here for Graham Napier. 
There's seven four to go with his seven sixes. He's on 82. Difficult to get across the line of Yardi because his angle's always coming into you. But that wasn't middle. Yep, it's gone away for four. Crowd are up now. Huge, he's got that and he stands and admires it, drops down on one knee. That's over the river. One short of the record sixes in an individual innings. He now has eight, 14 gone, 132 for two. Namakwa, the wine of South Africa. See the Masters in action. My goodness, this will be good. That's a great goal. Quite incredible. That's brilliant. Next up, the Screwfix Mercy Masters, Saturday at 8, Sky Sports 2 and HD2. Essex are on course for a big total here at Chelmsford this evening. Thanks to that man. 88 not out from 40 deliveries. Seven fours and eight sixes. This is the eighth. He stands and admires. Holds the pose, he knew it. Just wanted to see if he'd gone over the river or in the river. That's gone in the park, Graham. Real entertainment. Brutal hitting. Sussex under enormous pressure. This has managed to get it up and into the infield. Hamilton Brown scampers round. No chance of a run three here this evening at Chelmsford, the way the boundaries are. The Napiers entertained us, look, royally entertained us. Eight sixes and seven fours. 88 from 40 deliveries. Can you believe Andrew Simons hit 100 of 34 deliveries? What? That must have been carnage. Oh, I just Absolute turned to Benedict carnage. to see how quick this was, and Benedict just shook his head in complete disdain at me, as if to say, what are you on about? Nowhere near. Well, that's sliced down to third man. It's one-way traffic, all going the Eagles' way. Partnership 48 off, just 17 deliveries. It's going your way, take them all. Top edge and it nearly went for six. Over slip. Adjustment to the field. Michael Yardy, who is at short fine leg, goes onto the fence and Robin Martin Jenkins comes into the circle at mid-off. Fancy Kirtley's going to aim for the Yorkers and stick to it now. Steady bowls about. You said adjustment to the field. I thought you would say they're calling for a bigger one, to be honest. That's, as captain, that's all you can do. And also try and bowl as much as possible at Foster. It sounds obvious. Really try and starve Napier of the strike. Approaching 100, he'll be desperate to get there. Foster's clever enough, though, to manoeuvre the ball. Third man comes up, fine leg comes up, so it has to be full this time. Very, very dangerous to go short again. Slower ball, chips, oh, put down. Curtly made good ground to turn round, get the momentum going back the other way to get to the ball. Simply dropped it. Did everything right, but catch the ball. Completely did Foster with the slower ball. He did the hard part, he turned. There's the slower ball, Foster threw the shot, he turns, he gets underneath it, everything's going right. Just about lays a, a paw on it. They will look for two, but Goodwin has made good ground to the ball. Trying to mix up his pace and his length. Get it wrong to this fella. It's going to go the journey, particularly this evening. Where's he going with this one? He's gone big! Dwayne Smith, the deep square leg, just turns his head and looks skyward as it sails out the ground. His ninth six 
of his innings of 94. He equals Mark Elam's record back in 2004. We've had the river, we've had the park, we've had the gardens. It's the flats this time. Straight towards the flats. We're not sending Lloyd over there. <laughs> he won't be back. What's batting? Nine sixes, seven fours, 94 is one hit away. Now, I don't believe you ever hit a six to that part of the ground. From the nets, the nets used to be over that side, Ian, as you know. 24 yards, then. <laughs> ah! Just trying to join in on the action by going outside off stump. Got to get animated in the back of the box here, giving James Foster advice. Get off strike, get Napier back on strike. What do they know? Keep Foster on strike, he whacks it as well. Was that caught in the crowd? First six overs were boring, that lad's had a great evening. He's up, he's put his beer down, and he's caught James Foster out. What an evening. Watch out in the crowd. Juggled it and caught it. Catch it. That's a very good shot. Dwayne Smith is particularly quick and he does brilliantly. If he manages to get back for two, but only just. I wonder what the technique was. Was it beer in hand, beer put down? Juggle, juggle, left hand. And up. Quiet celebration. Good lad. Catch it! I don't care how fast Dwayne Smith is, he's not going to catch that. Full toss smashed over extra cover by Foster. This is becoming a riot, and the crowd are loving it. They've gone in, your old boys have gone. Six overs, had complete control, and now it's gone pear shape. Low full tosses, ball's been hit for six all round the ground. 28 off 15, partnership 67 off 25. That's another boundary. Raining boundaries here at Chelmsford. 16 off the over, one delivery remaining, and the first ball was a dot. 161 for two. Where will it end? There's another one. 20 from the over. 16 gone, 165 for two. Namakwa, the wine of South Africa. Made in Italy, tuned in Britain. Alfa Romeo meets ProDrive, Britain's leading performance specialists. Ian Ward's off, he's put his uh, hard hat on. David Lloyd's off with his ladders around the ground to try and find some more balls. Nasser is grinning quietly next to me. Magnificent performance, this Nasser. Napier, 94 off 41, needs six for his 100, and he's on strike. 130 off the last 10 overs. It just shows you don't have to use those first six. It's good if you do, but if it's nibbling around like you said it was, Get over that early period, give yourself a chance, and get it whacked. Napier on 94 then, needs a, a maximum for 100. Well bowled, James Kirtley. And it's been proved over the last three overs that the low full toss is not the in vogue ball. Yeah, we often say up here it's a hard ball to hit the low full toss, but not this evening, not when you've got a bat the size of Graham Napier's. Scored 130 in the last 10 overs, Essex. That's away for four, it's beaten short, fine leg. Napier's up to 98 now, with his 17th boundary, and nine of those have been sixes. Such a hard game, being a bowler. Yes, got it a fraction wrong, wrong. It just drifted in on leg stump. 
And Napier tickled it away. He moves to 98 in just 43 deliveries. Only one man has made a 2020 hundred for Essex, and it's not you, Nas. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Irani. We'll make that two men. Make it two. What a brilliant innings. Napier punches the air, hugs his partner. What a magnificent performance this is from Napier, and he's not done yet. Second 50 comes in just 15 deliveries, Graham Napier. He's waited for this moment a long time in his career. He's always had it in him, but what a stage, what a time to deliver. On his home ground in a crucial game, yep. Take a bow, Graham Napier, fantastic batting. Fourth fastest ever, 2020 100. That's off the bottom of the bat, and we'll only get him one. Fastest 50 was by Andrew Simons off 34 balls. This is the moment he went to three figures. And he's waited and waited to produce that innings. Always had it in him. Given the opportunity at number three and he's delivered. He's a fantastic guy and he deserves it at the moment. 103 off just 45 deliveries. Serious striking. Oh, that's four more. Great stuff from Foster this time. Giving himself a little bit of room and slapping that over point for four. We spoke about Foster at the top of the show. 40 of just 18 deliveries. Not a lot wrong with this one. It's full. It's straight. Look at that for technique. Get down on one knee. And flat bat it over point. What a shot. Can't do anything wrong to entertain this crowd of over 6,000, these two. Put on 88 in 32 balls. You're wide, way wide down the leg side. done that much wrong in this over James Curley. he's got a Yorker in Foster smacked it away over backward point he's nearly got it right and he's gone for 14 with one delivery left again he steps away and again he gets four that's gone like a tracer bullet through extra cover as well superb timing and spectacular hitting from the Essex duo Power from Napier, fast hands from Foster. Watch his hands, waits for it, plays tennis, plays hockey, and you can see that he's using it in cricket. Really quick hands, open the face. Four more. Never scored 200 Essex in 2020 cricket. They've got a very good chance here with three overs remaining. Look at the balls received compared to the scores made. Patini out early, four off nine. Galleon was steady, 26 off 29. That used to be a good innings in one-day cricket. Napier, 103 not out from just 45. Foster, 44 from 19. So both these batsmen striking at better than two a ball. You wouldn't believe it. Napier on strike now, little coming into the attack. Drilled at deep backward square. Chris Nash is on the mic. He's down at third man. Have you got your hard hat on, Chris? <laughs> it's going too far over my head. I don't need it. Well, it's short boundaries, but they've certainly exploited that, these two, haven't they? Oh, they played brilliantly. Nates has smashed it and uh, Fozzie's come in and scored from ball one. So, yeah, credit to them. They played really, really, really well. Looking forward to some fireworks from you when uh, you get to the crease. Well, we hope so, don't we? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, we, if we can... Uh, I can hopefully get the boys off to a good start and get us through, then... Uh, yeah, we can chase anything on this ground, hopefully. They were only 35 for one after six <laughs> overs, you know. Well, I predicted 140 would be uh, about past. So <laughs> what I about 240? <laughs> I'd be the worst pundit in the world, but yeah, no, uh, 200 would be nice. 
Okay, we'll Cheers, let you go. Mate. Thanks, mate. time since he's missed a ball I think two and a half overs left coach will be happy well Grayson on the left in the dugout might not be so happy Chris Adams Sussex captain there we go that's the record for number of sixes in a 2020 innings ten of them Keep saying it's a small ground, but all these sixes had nothing to do with the size of the ground. This has gone into the pavilion, right from the middle, centre square, and he's whacked it, and on most grounds, that's going for six. Oh, you're right now, so that's a big hit. I mean, we've got a 65-yard boundary there, and it's gone 40 yards past. I mean, that's a big, big hit. 110 now for Napier. He's getting close to... Oh, that's going to be six more, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's sailing into the crowd. Bounces back off the advertising boards. 11 sixes, nine fours, 116. It's equal to the second highest score in 2020. They've had money, value for their money here. Low full toss again, and it just sounded good off the bat. He stood, he watched, he admired, he knew it was six. Oh, it's got to be six more, hasn't it? Got to be. Chris Adams scratches his head at mid-wicket. Ben Napier breaks into a grin. 12 sixes now. And he's gone to 122. The highest scores, 141 not out. This is in 2020 Cup in England. It's just getting silly. Every ball's a boundary. 4-4, four, four, six, six, six. Another big hit. The dugout can just admire, really. Magnificent hitting. 12 sixes, 9 four, strike rate 244. 200 up. 200 up, 203 for two, highest score ever by Essex in 2020 cricket. Anasir, it says on the back of his uh, shirt, Graham Napier's the cure. Stroking that back quite lovingly, isn't he? What a piece of willow that is. That's right, mate. Foster's five away from a half century. And it's not a time to be bowling off breaks, Rory Hamilton Brown. Into the gap. Oh, well fielded. Prior. Well, anything uh, you can do, he may be saying, I've got to do too. It's worth watching if the Sussex get up close. On it, on it! Might get two here. Uh, settling for just the single. We are in danger here, Paul Allett. We We're are not. at long. Not. No one's going to go over us. Way over. We are at long on. I hope this perspex in, in front of us, Nasser, is uh, strong. I'm hiding behind you <laughs> if it's coming this way. Oh. Delay ball. It's a no, no ball. ball. And a free hit, as if he needs one. No ball. Watch him wind up at this one. As if he hasn't been winding up enough already. Oh, that's a lovely flick off his toes. It's only going to be one, though. Foster's quietly moved on to 48 off 22 deliveries. We've hardly mentioned James Foster. He's got a strike rate of 218. Yeah! Bold Foster's gone for 48, and it's been a fine little innings of just 22, 23 balls. Somewhat overshadowed by his partner, Graham Napier, but Foster has played beautifully. Everything's gone right for Foster and Napier. 
119 run partnership. And James Foster contributed 48 of 23. Quite brilliant. And the Essex wicketkeeper batsman. He's been overshadowed by Napier, but he's played his part. And he's pushed his side to a mammoth total. Eddie appreciates it anyway. Rather a, an unflattering end to the innings. Hamilton Brown gets the wicket. As Foster looks to mow him over mid-wicket. Ryan Tenderscart is the new batsman. Come on, Hammy, come on, bud. Well, he's played himself in nicely. This used to be a hard ground to bat on, Chelmsford. Not nowadays, look at this first ball. Just four. We'll just take four, ease into it. Got a bit of glove on that. Heading down the leg side for a wide, that's the over. From Rory Hamilton Brown, two overs, no maiden, one for 21. Six balls left in the innings, 213 for three Essex, and Graham Napier's on strike. Scarter gives it a whack. Bauer bowls a bit of left arm spin. Two spinners there for Essex Flower and Middlebrook Canaria, the third spinner. But all eyes on Graham Napier, 123. And he's got six deliveries left. Who's the lucky bowler? Jimmy Kirtley, three overs, none for 38. He's been going at nine and over through the competition. He's going at 12, over 12 and a half tonight. Odds are that he'll go for more than 12 in this over as well. Oh, that's gone way, way up in the air. They're circling underneath it. Oh, Chris Adams. It's another six. Another six. Equaling Brendan McCullum's 2020 record of sixes. Well, this came down with snow on it. It went that high. Adams, the captain, put himself in the position where he thought the ball was going to go. And he just pushed it over the bar. The dugout are sucking it in. They're breathing it over. Safe. Six. Got to be a Yorker, Jimmy. Or Bolt. Oh, he's got four. Is there an under edge? I think there is. A bit of bottom of the bat, a bit of toe. Kirtley's face tells it all, really. He completely does Napier. Bottom of the bat. Everything's been hit in the middle and going for six. Would you believe it, James? Oh, it's a wry grin and a shake of the head in resignation. What can you do? Become a batsman. Don't bowl. Three overs, 3.2 overs for 48. Napier's up to 133 now. Highest score in 2020 in England, 141. Oh, six. I can call it as soon as you see the swing of the bat. There's going to be a lot of stiff necks in Chelmsford this evening. 14 sixes for Napier. That's the most by any batsman in a single innings in 2020. Brendan McCollum included. And it's all towards the river. Massive again. How many times have we seen this? He knows it. What a follow through. Holds the pose, watches the ball. We all know where it is, Graham. It's gone for six again. Six, four, six. Serious batting. Pulled and top edge, but no, oh, more than that. There's plenty on that. That's another one. 15 sixes. Plan B from Kirtley. He goes for the short delivery. Those sixes have taken some hammering today. Not many fours. Top edge, six. More sixes than anybody before in 2020. And the highest innings now in the 2020 Cup in England. 145. Two balls left. 
56 balls, 10 falls, 15 sixes. Where's this going? Oh, that's going for more. Six more. Heaved away into the pavilion, 150 for Napier, 151 from 57 balls. He can do no wrong. Second 50, 15 balls, third 50, 13 balls. This one's gone onto the roof of the pavilion. This over has gone for six, four, six, six, six. 28 from five. What else can you add, really? It is awesome hitting. Never seen anything like this. This is absolutely spectacular. Last ball of the innings. James Curley has to bowl the last ball, and I bet he's wishing he hadn't got to. Low full toss, he'll get one, they'll come back for two. No, they won't, they'll settle. Absolutely brilliant. Stunning performance from Graham Napier. He finishes 152 not out from 58 balls. 10 fours, 16 sixes, striking at 262. Very nearly three runs per ball. Stunning. One man show. Yep, they all go up to it. And why wouldn't you? No luck. It was all skill. He's waited so long for an innings like that. He's a popular man in that team. He's a talented man. And this ground, any ground, isn't big enough for Graham Napier when he bats like that. Absolutely awesome batting. 152 in just 58 deliveries.